Bonjour! I invite you to a journey to one of Paris' most enchanting treasures, the Place de Vosges, located in the 4th district. You can take Line 8 to Chemin Vert or Line 5 to Breguet Sabin. And in your way there, get a delicious ice cream at Amorino. Or even better, a waffle with an ice cream. I will leave all the details regarding and how to get there on the description. So, Place de Vosges is a sun key square in the heart of Le Marais district. It's a wonderful place to relax and enjoy people watching and how the French culture towards enjoying life develops and is totally for free. And you know what is also free? Guess what? Our channel. You can subscribe and we send you love from friends with love. And let's share the love with family and friends so we can keep growing the community and showing you all the beautiful places from friends. So here time seems to stand still as the ghost of the past whispers tales of love and intrigue to those who pause to listen. And it happened to me. A lady from the area started a very interesting conversation where she enjoyed explaining the architecture of the square and its history. I found Parisians to be very eloquent and totally in love with their city, and I don't blame them for that. <laughs> they like to share. Uh, hear people smiles at each other. You can feel the sense of community and it's contagious. You smile at them, they will smile back and say bonjour. I'll dedicate this video to the wonderful lady that started a conversation with me at the Place de Vosges, originally known as Place Royale, was created by King Henri IV of France in the early 17th century between 1605 and 1612. Consider one of the oldest and most beautiful squares in the city, and I totally agree with that. It was created primarily to showcase King Henri IV, press his visitors of urban planning and architectural excellence, teaching a sense of order and elegance in the heart of Paris. The king also wanted to promote social cohesion and unity among the nobility by providing them with a prestigious and unified living space. The creation of Place de Vosges symbolizes Henri IV's commitment to beautifying and modernizing Paris, while solidifying his reign as a beloved monarch. He was also known as Henri the Great, and he was also King of Navarra, and he was the first monarch of France from the House of the Bourbon. His successors ruled France until the French Revolution, and they founded a dynasty in Spain. As a matter of fact, the actual king Felipe VI of Spain come from that dynasty. In one of the corners of the square, you will find a door that takes you to a hidden building that is called the Hotel de Sully. The acquired name from its most famous resident, the Duke of Sully, was an advisor to King Henri IV of France. When you go through the door, you are surprised by a gorgeous garden that takes you to the building and courtyard. The door toward la Rue Saint Antoine to the St. Paul and St. Louis Church. You can cut through the Hotel Sully to the Place de Vosges. Right now we're looking at the Four Seasons caught in the walls of the facade. In the courtyard you can also find the statues of the four elements, air, fire, earth and water. The Hotel de Sully resident was Madame de Sévigné, the celebrated aristocrat and writer. She also lived at the hidden Hotel Sully during the 17th century. Nowadays, the hotel is a museum you can visit. It seems that Madame de Sévigné used to sit at her window. She would eloquently capture the essence of life in Paris and write letters to her daughter and friends, sharing political intrigues and personal reflections. Her writing is a testament to the enduring allure of Place de Vosges, an inspiring place that played an important role in Madame de Sévigné's writing. These are the stairs that take you into the museum. Most of the people that you will see around this area, they are not tourists. They are people that either work or they live in Le Marais. And because the Hotel de Sully is hidden, uh, it's not easy for tourists to know about it without somebody telling them. 
Right now, spring has started and it's been raining a lot. So you will start seeing flowers everywhere in the city. It's also the time for cherry blossom. You will be able to see as any place in the world that has four seasons, all the different uh, flowers. Uh, right now we have tulips, violets and lilies, and many wild flowers. You can also see flowering fruit trees. They produce flamboyant blooms. It's a feast for the eyes. It's really nice to see all the colors and the contrast that they make bringing joy into our lives. So let me know in the comments if you ever been to Hotel Sully, if you have discovered this gem. Place de Vosges is known for its artistic and cultural vibrancy and typically holds several art galleries and boutiques showcasing a variety of artistic styles. At the moment, I counted 18 art galleries. There are several restaurants and cafes around Place de Vosges offering a range of culinary experience to visitors, including one and three star Michelin restaurants. Place de Vosges has been home to various notable residents, including aristocrats, artists, and writers. Like Victor Hugo, the renowned French author of The Miserable and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I will be doing a video on his home that it became a museum with free admission. The museum showcases uh, his life. It is said that he wrote Les Miserables while living in the square using the lives of people that he observed. So this square was an inspiration for him. It also had as a resident a cardinal that was quite famous, Cardinal Richelieu, advisor to the king Louis XIII. He lived in one of the great mansions of the square during the 17th century, and he commissioned the equestrian sculpture of King Louis XIII in the middle of the square. As I already mentioned, Madame de Sévigné also was a resident of Place de Vosges. Théophile Gautier, the poet, novelist, and critic, lived in the square during the 19th century. Eugène Delacroix, the renowned romantic painter, you can see his paintings at the Louvre Museum, had his studio at number 6, Rue Fustenberg, a street leading off Place de Vosges. Here we have a one-star Michelin restaurant and the Mathieu Paco. In case you're interested in having the experience of a Michelin uh, star restaurant, I suggest for you to go into their webpage and reserve three months in advance. You can go into their menu and see if there is anything that you would like to try and have the gourmet experience. During a spring summer, they have a very nice front yard and you can decide if you like to eat indoors or outdoors. The latest and most notorious former resident from Place de Vosges was Dominique Strauss-Kahn. He served as the managing director of the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. However, his career ended with a highly publicized scandal in 2011 when he was accused of molesting a woman in New York. At the square you will find people throughout the day. They come to relax, to enjoy with family and friends. They bring picnic, read, they bring their children to their playground. It's a residential and commercial area. If you are an art lover, definitely, I will suggest for you to walk around and take your time going to the galleries. 
the variety on the different art styles. It's amazing. Surely there is something for everyone. I found an anecdote about Victor Hugo on the years he lived at Place de Vosges. And legend has it that during the residence of number six of the square, he once got into a heated argument with his neighbors over noise complaints. Hugo was well known for having a flurried temperament. So he responded by placing a large cannonball on his balcony and threatening to drop it onto the street below if the complaints didn't cease. It's a colorful story. Another anecdote involved the painter Eugène Delacroix. It is said that he used to scroll regularly through the square, seeking inspiration for his paintings. And one day he spotted a charming scene of children playing. Delighted by this scene, he pulled out his sketchbook and began to capture the moment. However, he never imagined that some of the children noticed that he was drawing and they decided to play a prank on him. They sneak up uh, behind him and painted his coat with various colors. When finally Delacroix realized what had happened, he couldn't help but laugh. Expected turn of events showcasing the lively spirit and humor of Place de Vosch. And nowadays you can still see lots of children in the playground. There is even a sandbox for children to play. In this corner, we find uh, Victor Hugo's home. He lived there for 16 years with his family. Victor Hugo was also known for his active involvement in politics and social causes. While living at Place de Vosges, he was a vocal advocate for social justice, democracy, and human rights. He used his writing as a platform to address issues such as poverty, inequality, of the marginalized. He hosted many literally saloons and social gatherings where ideas were exchanged and debates were held. Here we are at L'Ambroisi, a three-star Michelin restaurant as of 2024. They have a menu for lunchtime or dinner, so you can choose. that are curious, 129 square meter in Place de Vosges is costing around 4 million euros. Hopefully you enjoyed our walk through Place de Vosges. 
And on your next trip to Paris, or if you are in the city, go and visit. Uh, during spring and summer, it's very lively. And you will catch some of the spirit of uh, the city. See you in the next video.